I know the saying is, I want never get, however, I really, and I mean really want that Shining Fates, Shiny Charizard GX, and in today's video, we are going to pull it, mark my words. Yo, what is going on, guys? Alien is Pierre back in a video, and as I just said, as you guys saw the talent and family of today's video, in today's video, we are going to pull that Shiny Charizard GX, trust me, and to do this, we are going to be opening up this Shiny Eldegoss V10. Super excited for this. Let's get right into it, baby. So yeah guys, this is the tin we're opening in today's video, the Shining Fates, Shiny Eldegoss V tin. Super excited for this. I really like all three of the Shining Fates tins. I think they're great. I love how the promos of these tins are actually are shiny cards, unlike Hidden Fates. Here's the back if you want to pause it and read all that boring stuff. But what most of us are interested for is that promo and the five packs of Shining Fates. So here we are opening up. Here is the beautiful Shiny Eldegoss V promo. And this is what I was talking about, what I love, and I do mean love about the Shining Fates um, tin line. We saw with Hidden Fates, yeah, we got a Charizard promo, that's cool and all. However, one thing I just love about Shining Fates is that instead of getting you know, a Charizard, we get shiny cards, you know, we've got Cramorant, Looking like a Cheeto bird or something. So if that pause right there, just had to check something. Here is the code card if you want that shiny Eldegoss online, you know. It's a very playable card, so if a lot of people want that, don't blame you. In the five packs of today's video, we have one Dragapult, two Charizard, and two Corviknight. Gonna leave the Dragapult till last, and the way we're gonna do it is Charizard, Corviknight, uh, Charizard, Corviknight, and hopefully we end up with a Charizard as well, not just on the pack artwork, but inside the packs. You know, you guys know what we want already. Just cracking into the first pack, you know, super excited for this. I love Shining Fates. Actually, going for a master set of it. Why is this pack being so tight? Maybe that means there's something great in it. As I was saying, I'm actually going for a master of this phenomenal sh phenomenal set we do call Shining Fates. That video is on this channel. I'm going to go fire. It is water. Does that douse our pulls? But yeah, since that mass set video, we have opened a lot more on the channel. You know, we've opened the two VMAX boxes this video, obviously. The solid trophy set. We do have a red V, I think it's Cinderace. And it's a Cinderace V to kick it off. But as I was saying, we've opened both of the um, Shining Fates V Max boxes, both the Crobat and Dragapult. I've got an ETB on the way coming soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We've got this opening as well and more to come in the future since I do love this set. So much so, I'm going for one of every card in it. I really do like this set, you know, because the Shiny Bolt is so big. Yes, Hidden Fate also has all of like the. Um, Fanfare Pokemon in that shiny vault. You know, Mewtwo has a phenomenal shiny. Gonna go grass is dark, but Mewtwo has great shines. You know, Espeon, my favorite Pokemon, is in that set. We do actually have my PSA 10 shiny Espeon GX there, as well as the PSA 10 shiny Zygarde from Hidden Fates and the Hidden Fates promo PSA 10. My background is showing a lot of love to Hidden Fates. Do I have a um, shiny hit fighting? Gonna guess Phalanx, and it is Galarian Surface Baby Shiny, as well as a regular rare boss's order. However, this is great because I'm missing this this card from a mass set so sleeving that up straight away i really do like this shiny you know the gold um color on it is truly phenomenal i enjoy farfetch as a pokemon both in its galarian and kanto form uh galarian surfetch did actually get a v box the um, v promo isn't shiny or anything like that it's just its regular color would be really cool to see actually a lot more promos uh, why is this pack going to be so annoying to open you know maybe since there's charles had pack to get, give it that belly rub to get it open but i think it'd be really cool to see a lot more promos in their shiny form you know it's always nice to buy a box knowing you're guaranteed to get that uh shiny cards you know example would be these tins yeah you know the pull rate could be a bit lower i don't know i haven't tested that but let's say the pull rate is a bit lower you're still guaranteed to get that full art shiny and i think all three of them are gorgeous gonna go uh lightning is fighting hopefully our pack is still shocking so a rusted sword ball guy love him would love to pull that ball guy full art as well so we have a key fan, a Breezel, a Spinner at Reverse Holocram in here, and a Holographic Decidueye. I'm not going to lie, this tin hasn't been the best. Hopefully that does rack up quickly though, as we are moving into the last two packs. Corb and I right now, you know, bringing up the suspense of these pauses right now. Hopefully, you know, maybe if there's nothing good in this Corviknight, it's because I just sensed it in that Dragapult pack, which was on its own. If you guys like Dragapult as a Pokemon, just like me, I think it might actually be my favourite Gen 8 Pokemon, and you like it shiny too. We did actually open the um, shiny Dragapult VMAX box. Going to go Psychic, Fire, hopefully we get a Fire Pull, a Tropius, a Luxio. So if you guys like Dragapult or Crobat, or if you guys just enjoy seeing packs opened, or if you 
just enjoy me, you know. And make sure Baby Shiny Duck Lair, as well as the regular uh, Dreadnought, if you guys just enjoy those things I've just mentioned. We have opened up the VMAX boxes on the channel, as I've said, so check them out if you haven't already. I really do love the um, Baby Shiny Duck Lair. You know, I love Duck Lair as a Pokemon. It's so, so cute then, and it's just in its pink shiny. As well as where I live, you know, we have plenty of ducks by the river. Sometimes I'll go down and feed them. I don't think I'll be feeding them the cards, though. That would be terrible, but may go down and show them the duck club. Maybe it's a relative of one or two of them. But here is the final pack. You know, the code card giveaway, all of them as per usual. Four to the front. I don't play the online game myself, so I'll give them all away. Going to go fire energy, hoping to end it with a bang. It is lightning. Hopefully that doesn't mean this pack will be shocking. So we have a Thwacky, a Floatzel, a Tropius, a Spinarak, a Shinx, a Horsey, a Yanma, a Morpeka, an amazing, amazing rare Reshiram, sorry, and a holographic Zerud. I will sleeve up the amazing rare restaurant since it is a hit at the end of the day so now we're just going to go over all the cards we did get normally i do a pause clearing all the book commons we saw in this video however we didn't open too many packs so i don't think i need to do that so here's what we got so we did get the half art cinderace three the amazing rare restaurant. A lot of you guys probably having de deja vu since we literally got this out of the pack two seconds ago. We do have that beautiful baby shiny duck club, which I was rambling around, rambling about the ducks in my village for whatever reason. We have the hollow decidui. Nice little hollow there. Probably my favorite card from this. Um, actually, you know, the promo is without a doubt. We have the hot baby shiny galarian surfet. And probably my favorite card, the um, um, the promo we were guaranteed to get the shiny elder gosh Maybe that my favorite card from this tin was a promo. Shows how bad the pulls. The Hey, we got open some packs regardless. Add this epic promo and some other cards to my master set. So yeah guys, that was all for me in today's video. You guys just saw me open the Shining Fate, Shiny Eldegoss tin. I may go out and buy the other two tins, the both the Cramorant and the Boltund. Since I do really enjoy these tins, you know, and I think my, lo my local game store did get a restock. That's where I got these for. I did get it for retail price, thankfully. You know, I don't need paying those scalper prices. So when I go there next, if they still have the Cramant and the Bolton to let me know, I may pick up, pay, pick up, sorry, a third Eldegoss. I think Eldegoss needs to redeem itself a bit more because the pull rates in today's video were not that good at all. But we had fun opening it regardless. So that's a dub in my books anyway. For comment question of the day, let's go for what was your fair card in this um, video? Mine was the promo Eldegoss. Maybe my fair card from this video being a promo shows that the pulls weren't the best, but hey, as I did just say, we did have fun opening it and I got to um, show the experience with you guys, so I'll take that at the end of the day since I love making this content. But that is all for me in today's video. I'm Nelly Nispy. You guys have been the best, I mean, the best views on YouTube, and I'll see you in the next time. Peace.